it's Ty Bug, and it's spooky season. This is my costume. I'm a homeless little maniac. They look just like everyone else. We have my friend Skull here. What should we name him? Scully. But like S C U L L Y? Or it could be Skull, like S K U L L Y. Mm. It's Scully. This is my friend Scully. He'll be with me for the duration of spooky season. And I would just like to say, spooky season is my favorite season. So, we got that planned. Today, we will be doing one of the easiest spooky nail art tutorial. This is literally the easiest, nicest looking nail art tutorial I know. I get so many compliments whenever I do this. This co like color combination I'm doing is considered spooky, but you can do this with any color combination. And everyone loves it. And like, it's super duper easy. Like anyone can do this. I can do this on both hands and it looks perfect on each side. Sometimes it looks better on my dominant hand, which is weird because like I can't do anything. So why can I do this? But literally nothing else that matters in the world. Coincidence? I think not. So you're gonna wanna start off by putting a base coat. I've never put on a base coat before. I don't really think it's all that necessary. That's my dog making noise. Can you not? Wait, Omega. Anyways, I was watching some like nail art tutorials and all that before this so I could be like official. And like they all put on base coats so and I guess to protect the nails or whatever. But why? But just for you guys, I put on a base coat. So it's the Nailene Acrylic Strong Protecting Base and Top Coat. That's what that is. And I put that on yesterday and I had guitar, a guitar lesson this morning. So they're kind of wrecked up. I guess it's fine. Okay, so we're gonna be doing this in parts. So the first part, you're gonna do a black base coat other than the clear base coat. You got it? I guess I'll, I'll do it on both hands. So I always shake up my nail polish beforehand. I don't know why. I, I consider, I, I guess it's right. I mean, everyone does it. So what I'm using is California Colors in black. I don't even know if they make this nail polish anymore, colorful in your colors. I don't even, I got it at a drugstore, but I don't know if you can still get these. And then you're just gonna, bless you, do a base coat. And if you get it all on the outside of your nail, it doesn't matter because what we're gonna be doing next gets all on the outside of the nail. And I guess you can use uh, one of those peel off things, but I don't know where to find that. Does anyone know where to find that other than online? And online shopping gives me anxiety. So I wasn't gonna put in the effort to get that one. I just wouldn't be confident in it. And like, I don't know if there's a technique in just painting your nails regularly. I kind of just gloop it on there. I'm waiting for the black layer to dry. I thought we could just have a little chit chat. Oh wait, let me turn my air off. I'll start burning up in just one second. So, what was my chit chat gonna be about? I had a topic and I forgot it already. Oh yeah, so my hand cam. You can see my arm and my hands and my fingers and all that. And I know. My hands and stuff are hairy. I'm a hobbit. I'm really, really, literally like a hobbit. Now that that's out of the way, let's talk about nail length. I have short nails. 
And I'm sure a lot of you have short nails too because having long nails is so hard to manage. Like if you have dirt underneath your long nails, disgusting. Like everyone notices that. Everyone can see it and it's really freaking gross. Guys, I'm looking at you. Girls, if you have dirt underneath your long nails, it's still freaking gross, okay? But I have short nails because I play guitar and I grew up playing basketball and martial arts and it was literally physically impossible for me to have long nails and continue playing these sports and doing what I like to do. I can't hold down a fret with long nails, I can't dribble a ball with long nails, and I can't make a fist with long nails. Well, I did do Taekwondo for a while with long nails, but that was just a pain. And when I started doing basketball, I realized I like having my nails shorter. But I love the coffin look. Like, that is so in right now, and I'm freaking jealous of all the girls who can get that done. Because I freaking can't if I want to keep doing what I'm doing. Like, it's an aesthetic thing. I get it. I love it. It's perfect for Halloween. But I still love playing guitar. I am at an impasse. Are these dry yet? Because I ran out of things to say. <laughs> yeah, dry enough. Okay, what you're gonna do next is you're gonna wanna take a na red nail polish. See, black and red, spooky colors. It can be a matte red, it can be a sparkly red. I personally like, mine is like a shiny red, I guess you could say. It's not sparkles and it's not matte, but it's kinda like has a glimmer a sheen, a fancy word to it. And I'm using the Cole by OPI in the shade Very Sweet. This is really old, like all my nail polish is kind of old. And what you're gonna wanna do is take a makeup sponge and this is the nail art. It's so easy, a toddler can do it. Sometimes it looks like a toddler did do it. But what you're gonna wanna do is you're just gonna wanna paint the red onto one end. You kinda want it to be thick. Look at that sparkling blood. And you're just gonna, I'll do it on the pinky so you can see it better. You're just gonna dab it onto the end. And you may need to do a few layers because the black is really opaque. Did I not think this through? We're gonna be doing some layers of red. Roger. I guess we'll just be through this now. By the way, you're gonna want the black to be completely dry so it doesn't pick up on the sponge like this did. Cause then that kind of just ruins your base. So make sure it's completely dry before you start sponging it on. And it's kind of gonna be an ombre, you know, you feel? and you'll just sponge it onto the tip and then it'll get more opaque the further down you go. Hopefully, that's the plan. Two layers on this hand and it's slowly kind of forming into the color I want it to be. It kind of looks good when it's a, kind of like sheer. I don't know. I kind of like it. I may leave it like this. And like it'll be up to you guys how dark you want it. And like this is only two layers. Can you see like how dark it is? 
It looks good to me. Anyways, to show you how easy this is, I'm going to be doing it on my dominant hand. Since this kind of like is full, I'm going to go on the other side. And when you're doing this, you may realize that it looks kind of rough, like it looks kind of textured. Don't worry about it. When you put a top coat on, I like put on two layers of the um, clear top coat, and that smooths it all out. And it kind of like makes it more um, fadey looking. And compared to like people who just do one color, you're gonna look like a freaking queen. So, don't worry about it, friends. Another note, when you're sponging this on, this is where people use like the peel off um, side uh, nail polish. What is it called? I always see it on Instagram. It's just peel off something or other. Anyways, that's when that comes in handy because when you're sponging it on, it gets all on the outside of your nail. But guess what? It washes off super duper easily. Like if, I wouldn't recommend doing this right before you're gonna go out unless you have one of those peel off things cause then otherwise you have a whole bunch of stuff all over your nails and the skin around your nails. But this washes off in about like two days. If you take a shower and you wash your hair with it, it comes off in like after that shower. So you're fine. I would recommend laying like a napkin down or a tablecloth down when you're doing this just so it doesn't get everywhere. But look at how easy that was on the left hand. I'm done with the first layer. I will do two layers to catch it up, but I think I may leave it. Cause it looks kind of like I had my nails painted black and then I started clawing my way out of a coffin and it got kind of bloody. Hi, April Ludgate. Okay, so two layers of the sponge on, sponged on red on my nails, and I think we're gonna leave it like this because it kind of looks like I got my hands bloody and forgot to wash it off. Dark, I know, but it looks nice. So while it's still kind of tacky, I'm gonna go in with a clear just to kind of smooth it all out and make the gradient more apparent. If you're someone who's never done nail anything before, this is something you can do on yourself, on a friend, on anyone. Cause it's literally so quick. It looks so freaking nice and it requires zero talent. So that is all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed my easy spooky nail art tutorial. This is me and Scully signing off. See you guys next week. Bye.